What are his friends like? She tries to get along with everyone. According to him, there's no more bullying or stigma against nerds. Hi, I'm Kat Juan Ledesma. I'm a writer, educator, wife, and new mother of two. Parenting has definitely been my most exciting journey, but it also comes with a lot of questions. So I've asked a few friends and experts to share what they've learned from their own parenting adventures. We've compiled the best stories and tips in the hopes that their experiences will enlighten yours. This is The Parent Files. Brought to you by Askoff Lagundi, the number one natural cough remedy. When he was very young, he had a hard time adjusting to his classmates in school and a lot of times he felt ostracized and bullied and he had to deal with that all the way till he was 6th grade. He, he struggled making friends in school. He'd always have one friend, but eventually he started loosening up and then he started getting invited to parties. And, and through cards, he's actually been able to connect with a lot of kids. So that's how he's sort of made a connection and sort of built a group with other kids through the, through the magic cards. He hangs out with this more or less the same crowd he's been hanging out with since maybe four or five years he's been in the same school. He also hangs out with the same friends outside of school. They're into whatever other 10-year-olds are into these days. Same music, same movies. The crowd he tends to hang out with are what we nickname the nerds because they also like playing a lot of board games. They like reading books and they like having really animated discussions. They're not the jocks, that's for sure, although they do like sports. They're more into the movies and the books, so that's the crowd he's with these days. According to him, there's no more um, bullying or stigma against nerds because in school they embrace the differences, so <clears throat> there aren't really social differences. So yes, some, some guys are good in sports, some guys like, like games, video games, some like books. Actually, him and his friends, <clears throat> they hang out in the library. <laughs> So, and that's what they like doing, and a lot of the kids hang out there, so there. She told me, like, a friend of mine is now a mean girl. In what way? You know, she's, she's different now. She doesn't act the way how she used she to. Used to. Yeah. Then I, I asked her, how is it different now? She was a mean girl to you. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, she became mean. Meaner. Meaner to her. <laughs> and then she, she, I just asked her, why are you like that now? <laughs> that every time she approaches, yeah. she knows that she's gonna get that, that question. Yeah, she always asks yeah. that girl whenever she approaches her in a mean way, why, why are you like this? Why do you treat me like this? So in a way, it makes the girl question, okay, why am I like this? That was her first taste of sort of like defending herself. But yeah, but see, yeah. unconsciously, she, she, she yeah. out of honesty, she just asked. So the being honest, became the defense yeah. mechanism. I guess that's how she deals with it, being honest. But when it comes to peer pressure, like bad influence, what really matters would be teaching the kids about judgment and problem solving. Always doing, like, know more about doing the right thing, okay? You teach them judgment and problem solving through examples or exactly tell them what they need to do, repeat the situation, and then have them, like, like do an, an actual role play with them. It should have this, the right blend of teaching them empathy and compassion. I make it a point that I know her, the parents of her friends. I keep a close relationship with them. At home, when we have our you know quiet moments and she'll tell me, you know, this and this did this and this and this did that. Then you'll have to teach her how to discern and choose if is she is she really being a good friend or is he really being a friend to you we have to lead them to to really choose the right friends because it we would want them to grow up with good friends right like i think that's more most important because when we're when they're not with us they're with their friends and we just want them to be in good hands all the time at this age all the kids are tending to change so they may not be able to respond to each other the same way that they used to maybe a joke is seen as a, a slight or an insult that's not understood you always have to check that you always want to have him be an individual but at the same time you recognize that uh, his being with friends does influence his likes and dislikes 